So now we got our engine out of our 23 restoration turbo. We have quite a few leaks. Uh, it's got some miles on her, so a lot of the hardware is rusty. Um, we're gonna start with the transmission, taking that apart, all the seams are leaking. Um, third gear was a little tight, so we're gonna look at the synchro. Uh, maybe you have to put some synchros in it. Um, and then next step is pull the engine apart. We got cam housings leaking. Uh, valve covers are leaking pretty good. Turbos have some age on them, uh, so we'll have to take these apart. We'll have to um, spick out the turbines, make sure everything measures within spec, make sure we got enough free play, uh, but not too much. Yeah. So that they're good. If they are, then we can just clean them up and put them back on. Otherwise, we will have to rebuild them. Um, let's talk about the hardware being all rusty. Um, they'll either have to be replaced or replated. Like these clamps here, they're still in good shape. Yeah. We can replate them so everything's the same patina, same color gold all the way across. Um, one of the things I noticed what makes me laugh is Porsche, when they came out with these cars, they had an upgraded pulley. Uh, they used to say that the batteries would get low, people would start them. The alternator, which this drives, would full field and it would burn the belt right off of it and they'd have to get towed in. Um, this does not have the upgraded pulley on it. Uh, the Turbo S has the upgraded pulley if we want to see it, but it's basically billet. It's all one piece. There's See, there's separate, several pieces yeah. there. They've machined one now out of one piece of metal so that it's stronger and doesn't flex as much so it holds that. And then after our engine and transfers are, are done, uh, next thing we're going to do is the chassis. New shocks, new brakes, um, definitely rebuild the axles, new CVs, uh, possibly see what kind of shape they're in. They'll definitely be re -greased. Uh, everything cleaned up, new boots, and then we're gonna do dry ice blasting. There's two ways to dry ice blast. One is everything in here, just go over it, make it all look really nice. And like we did with our last car, I don't wanna do that. I prefer to pull everything out of the car, uh, dry ice blast it, make everything look like new, and then put it all back together. Uh, one of the things that I think we're gonna do this year, which is new technology, is Dr. Beasley's has come out with a uh, Cody. It's a nano surface coating. So all the raw aluminum that we've cleaned uh, with the dry ice blasting will all get coated before it's back installed. Uh, all the, anything, the fan housing, exhaust will all be coated and it gives it a layer of protection. You know, the, that, that, that nano particle, just like uh, uh, a, a fancy wax or something like that, a coating that'll uh, make it look, uh, make it look though different, but it gives it some protection. Nice. Yeah, I, I see what you mean as far as taking those pieces. I'm actually surprised at how much kind of grime there is. And I mean, we got some decent oil leaks and stuff here with the engine. So it'd be neat to take all those different parts off and like you had said, flip them over and get every every surface area. So uh, it truly is a, a restored, preserved car. You got your work cut off for you, that's for sure. All right, I think we're good. We're on our way. Yeah.